Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you download and install Zoom on your computer so that you can start doing video calls or having video conferences. So what we want to do is go to the Zoom download page, and I'll link this page down in the description so you can access it for yourself. I'm going to be downloading the Zoom desktop client because I'm using Zoom on my computer. So what I want to do is click this download link. In the Zoom installer is going to download it to my downloads folder on my PC. So I can open up that folder right here. And I can see in my downloads folder in my file manager, I have the Zoom installer. And if you're having trouble accessing your downloads page on your computer, you can always click the file manager down here on your taskbar. And you should be able to find your downloads folder in your local disk. And this is the C drive and then click on users and then click on your user profile. And in my user profile, I can click downloads and that takes me to my downloads folder. Once we find the zoom installer, we're going to double click on it and we should get this pop up from the zoom installer and it'll just take a little bit of time to initialize. And it took a little bit of time, maybe around a minute or so, but eventually it says the installation was successful. And if you want, you can check this box that will automatically keep zoom desktop client up to date. And then we can click done. So we have some options here. You can either join a meeting or sign in. So if we click join a meeting, you can enter in the meeting ID or the personal link name in this area, the username that you want to go by. And then you have some different options here, whether you want it to remember your name for future meetings, whether you want it to connect or not connect your audio as well as your video. And once you enter in that information, you can join that meeting. Now going back to the previous page, clicking cancel. You're probably going to want to create an account so that you can make these video calls of your own. So we can click sign in right here. And if you already have a Zoom account, you can enter in your email and password that is associated with that Zoom account and then click sign in. If this is your first time creating a Zoom account, what you can do is go to the bottom right hand corner and click where it says sign up. That takes us to the sign up page where we're going to verify our age by entering our birth year and then click continue. And you can either sign up with an email address that you type in right here, or if you want, you can also sign in with some additional options down here, such as an Apple, Google, or Facebook account. For me, I'm going to create an account with my Google account. So essentially this is just using my Gmail. So I'm going to click the Google option. But again, if you don't have these options down here, you can always just enter in the email address that you want to get set up up here at the top and then click continue. But I'm going to click on where it says Google. And then if you're not already signed into your Gmail account, you can sign in on the next page. But since I'm already signed in, I can just select the Google account that I would like to hook up with Zoom. Enter in your password and then click next. And then I can confirm my account through two-step verification. It's going to text me a code to my phone number that I have to enter in. You might also have the option to do this through an email where it'll send you a code to your email that you can use to also do this verification process. But I'm going to have them send me that code by clicking the send button right here then enter in that code and click next. If you're an educator signing up for Zoom, you're gonna to wanna to check this box before clicking create account. But if you're not an educator, you don't need to worry about checking this box and you can go ahead and click create account. And now at this point, I can sign in with my Zoom account. And for me, it's gonna be through Google. But if you didn't sign up with one of these options down here, you'll be able to enter in your email as well as password and then click sign in. But for me, I'm gonna click the Google option and then clicking on my Google account. In signing in, we'll pop up the Zoom client on your desktop. You can start a new meeting, you can join. But some things that you're probably gonna wanna check before going into a video call are what microphone as well as webcam that you have set up with Zoom. So to do this, we're gonna go over here to the upper right hand corner and click on this letter. This is gonna be our account profile up here. So we're gonna click on that. And in this pop-up menu, we're gonna go down and click where it says settings. And that'll bring up our settings page. To check on our audio, we're gonna click the audio option. And this is going to show you the microphone that you have set up. You can click this drop down menu and click whichever microphone that you want to be the primary microphone option in Zoom. And you can also set up where the volume is going to be coming out of. So you have different options. So if I didn't want the volume coming out of my microphone, for instance, I can change it to one of my other options for the speaker to have the sound go through those different settings. And then finally, setting up our video, we can click the video option. And you'll get a preview of what your webcam is seeing. And in the camera section, clicking the drop down menu, you can click whichever webcam you want to be the primary camera option in Zoom. And you can go through and check these additional settings and options, but those are going to be the two primary things is getting the right webcam as well as the right audio source to use with Zoom. So then after that, we can exit out of our settings 
and we should be good to go to use Zoom at that point in time. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the steps on how you download and install Zoom to have video calls or video conferences on your computer. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll post helpful links to find the download page down in the description if you'd like to check that out.